inflation is high and the stock market is down. So what do we do, folks? S&P 500 is down as investors that are looking for the long term. What is our game plan? I'll tell you my personal game plan right now. If you've been following this channel for quite some time, you know I'm a huge fan of analyzing individual companies, but never really indexes or ETFs and stuff like that because I ultimately I want to find winning companies, winning ships to take me to retirement. That's my game plan. But the S&P 500 index is something that is the backbone of my portfolio because ultimately all the companies I'm looking at are all amongst that group of stocks. So when I see the S&P 500 going down, well, I think dollar cost averaging is a great approach to get into the market, especially now as inflation rates are going up. And currently the market is trading at 2021 levels. So to keep that in mind, folks, at the fact that interest rates have gone up, inflation has gone up, and now that price point has gone down, the safest thing to do right now is to buy the index. Let's buy the haystack, forget the needle. Ultimately, if I could find some hidden gems along the way, that is what I'm gonna probably be banking on. But I'm making this video for those who are somewhat confused of what the next steps are because Listen, a bear market is not a good time. Your portfolio might be in the red. You might see a lot of your holdings going down and you have no idea what's the next step. Do you sell? Do you hold? Do you buy more? My plan is to hold and buy more, especially in the companies that I truly believe in. Because ultimately, the market likes to go up. It doesn't like to go down. But there are points in history like this where you're going to see somewhat of a decline. We've had some fake rallies in the past in the last couple of months. And we'll probably see a couple of those fake rallies in the next coming weeks but ultimately i do think we are on a downward trend and that's going to probably happen for quite some time however how do we circumvent that how do we make the most out of this seemingly bad situation and then ultimately folks that is purchasing companies we truly believe in and ultimately buying the index to ride out that wave another positive of this market going down is something to look forward to and it's the overvalued companies that I've talked about time and time again on this channel. Now, if you watch my analysis videos, majority of them are companies that are overvalued. I find more overvalued companies than undervalued companies. What do I say on this channel? I say we have to wait for that price point to come down and that's eventually what's gonna happen. There's gonna be a point where those high premium companies, let's say the value is here, the price point's up here, we are gonna see that price point finally match their value and hopefully ultimately it comes down here so we can get those great companies at bargain prices because look there's right now you go on anywhere you go on yahoo finance you go on all these market beat whatever those sites are there's people ex explaining all these different types of fears that are going to happen and listen to, to a certain extent you might take this video as hey man this guy's just trying to get me scared i'm actually not i'm not trying to get you scared at all i'm trying to get you almost excited to a certain point because there's opportunities that are going to be happening in the next coming weeks. You're going to see a lot of red on the board. However, look at it like price tags being on sale. Those things that you really like are going to be on sale for you to purchase. It's whether or not you have the capital available to actually act out on those sales and those opportunities, or you plan on waiting for, let's say, a better opportunity to come along. It's, it's nothing to be scared of. It's just something that's bound to happen because it's very cyclical that's just how the economy is going that's how it works and i'm waiting for those rock bottom prices i'm waiting for people to really be scared to, to feel like it's the end times and listen as you see a lot more articles come out as you see a lot of people just trying to spread fear and spread oh this is this is the worst that's when you should get excited and act on it i think Yes, inflation and high interest rates are terrible for other reasons that are not investing. Obviously, it's going to reduce your quality of life. And ultimately, that is the most important thing to make sure that you are okay. However, if you have that money to invest and you're able to keep it off the side before you deploy it, this is an exciting period. More stock analysis videos will be on the way. I just wanted to make this quick little video to just talk to you guys and say, hey, don't be scared. Don't be worried. Anyways, folks, that's the video. I will see you in the next one. Keep riding the market down. It's going to get more exciting coming up. And I'm hoping when I do my analysis videos, I will find more undervalued gems. But as long as the market's red, I'm looking forward to it. And you should too. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you don't miss out on this stock right here. Now, I believe this might be the potentially best investment going forward in 2023, given everything that's happening.